Washington. We are outgunned, outmanned, outnumbered, outplanned. You gotta make an all out stand. Hey, yo, I'm gonna need a right hand. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another Hamilton Creative Sim. In this part, I'm creating George Washington. I was actually going to be creating Mulligan, but I decided to do something else just to give me a little break from those three friends, you know, Lafayette and um, the other one. What's his name? John Lawrence. Oh my god. That took me a long time for a big Hamilton fan. Actually, it has been a while since I listened to Hamilton. I need to give it another listen. Um, I don't know. I guess at some point you're like, okay, I've listened to it like a thousand times. I'm going to take a break, but I think it's re I'm ready to, to go back into it. But anyway, if you've never seen my Hamilton Creator Sim before, or if you just forgot, these sims are inspired by a couple of things. The first one is the actual real person that I'm creating. So in this case, George Washington. And I'm actually kind of scared for this one because people really know George Washington. Like not a lot of people, like at least around the world, know how Alexander Hamilton looks or Aaron Burr, you know. But George Washington, we pretty much all know. <laughs> so that's kind of scary. But the only thing that's inspired by that is the shape of his face. So I'm sort of creating like the nose and the lips and the eyes and the eyebrows and everything by a younger Washington. I think most people have like the old version in their head, but like I created the younger Washington. He is a little older than the rest of them. I wanted him to be... I guess in the musical, he's kind of like a father figure to Hamilton anyway. Uh, so I wanted him to be older. So he's an adult. He's not an elder. He's an adult. So we do have some time. Uh, and then the skin color and the hair um, and stuff like that is inspired by the first actor who played the character. Um, so in this case, not really any hair. I was... You'll see me go between this like really short, almost no hair thing and the actual no hair in reality the actor has like a tiny bit of hair you know you know what i'm talking about i just don't know the proper english word for it i actually don't know the dutch word for it either <laughs> so you know that's the thing uh, but i didn't i didn't like how it looked in the sims it was just a little too long and just looked kind of weird and i didn't like the color so i ended up going with no hair um, but I took my time deciding, as you can see, it took me a long time. And then, of course, the clothing is inspired by the, sort of the costumes, but for this one, I sort of went out on, um, I don't know, I just, I didn't necessarily go for the costumes as much as I just wanted him to look like he was an important man which he was like he was the general and he was the president and all of that stuff so i wanted him to look important that's sort of what i went for and like really fancy and sophisticated not so much inspired by the costumes because the costumes kind of all look the same after a while like they're all blue and they're all sort of the same so i just i sort of went on a different road than I usually do because I keep using the same clothes over and over and over and over which is fine but I just wanted something else for a second <laughs> so I guess one of the things I did was give him a hat um, and I personally don't even know if I like the hat I think I like the hat but I'm not sure so I'm going to do the question thing in the corner do you like the hat or do you not like the hat I gave him two outfits one with the hat and one without but I think he looks really important. Like, he looks... Like, you need to listen to this man because he is important. That That's sort of the look he has to me with the hats. I don't know. Maybe you don't agree. Maybe you do agree. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but, you know, if you all hate it, I will remove it and... And carry on with the hatless version of Washington. Um, I guess this sim is the least like the actual George Washington. Uh, the other ones had some kind of resemblance, but this sim really doesn't look like Washington. And maybe that's just because I'm aware of how Washington looks, but he doesn't look like Washington at all. But I guess the main 
thing that I needed for him is to sort of look like the actor and look really important. And I think I did that. Okay, so before I dive into favorite lines, let me tell you first of all that when we get to the swimwear, it looks really funny and weird. And I do that on purpose because I don't see any any of these sims swimming anyway. And I don't see them in a swimsuit at all. Like I cannot imagine them in a swimsuit. And it's kind of a modern version. The last couple of times I went for like a more old look, but for Washington I kind of went with like a modern version. Okay, favorite lines before we run out. Actually, we're diving into one of my favorite songs, maybe even my favorite song, and that is One Last Time. It's so beautiful. It's not necessarily like a line, but it's just like when Hamilton like reads the speech and then Washington just sings and it's like, ah, oh. the first time I heard that it was like, <sighs> I had goosebumps all over. It's so beautiful. It's just amazing. That's my favorite moment of the entire, entire musical. It's just, I mean, I don't know. I can't even describe it. But if you're a Hamilton fan, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's, it's the, the most beautiful thing ever. And then the most beautiful moment in music ever has happened and it doesn't stop there. It's like after the speech, it goes quiet and then all of the background singers are like George Washington's going home. And it's, it, it's so beautiful. <laughs> but let me know your favorite Washington lines and moments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!